This vulnerability allows a remote attacker to disclose sensitive information from a Windows Exchange server. Hello world, I'm Zenit and welcome to CVE Deep Dive. This vulnerability was found by an independent security researcher called Alex Birnberg. The affected versions are Exchange Server 2016 and Exchange Server 2019. The CVS score of 6.5 was calculated using the following metrics on my right hand side. Since a lot of things like the complexity then the privileges required are pretty low and you can even perform this attack over a network and due to the damage to the confidentiality being rated as high from Microsoft themselves, the CVS score of 6.5 is justified. Even if it's just an information disclosure vulnerability. But how does this attack work? An attacker sends their payload as an XML document to this exchange server and can read the data that is stored on that server by providing a path to it. If an attacker sends a malicious HTTP request containing this web service URL and having all the parameters configured properly or unproperly, the OneDrive Pro Utilities class will do this request, parse the XML and then interpret it as an XML and that opens up an XXE vulnerability. The method in question is get walk URL which parses the XML response from a HTTP request and this method is called in a wrapper method which is also called get walk URL. This method is located in the OneDrive Pro Utilities classes and can be triggered to execute when you define the OneDrive Pro attachment provider. The web service URL parameter is set and the walk action parameter is not an authentication VOP action. An attacker can simply do this by sending this XML. Since this method will send a request to a server and parse the response in XML, the attacker can set up a server that will return this XML and thus allowing them to read arbitrary files on the file system using a low privileged user. You can set this configuration via this XML even if you're not a high privileged user but just a low privileged user like a regular user of a company. So to exploit this vulnerability the attacker needs a couple of things, namely the URL of the targeted exchange server, the username the password of a low privileged user at least that and they need to set up their own server which will listen to this method call and return the malicious XML. There is a Python proof of concept script on the SSD disclosure website which you can read in detail and see all the commands that need to be executed. In short this file will set up a web server that will respond with the malicious XML and then read out a file. It has some handy dandy argument parsing so you know you can pass the URL, the username, the password and even the file that you want to read via the command line. Let's take a look at this quick example over here. So in this example we're gonna run this exploit which will be hosted on our own attack machine and try to read a certain file on the Windows machine. This file is located under c slash windows slash win dot and after a while you can see that we get the content of that file dumped onto our console. As you can imagine this attack will allow an attacker to gather sensitive information from your systems. That information can be sensitive in the nature of having financial data on it, having medical data on it, being your mails or it can disclose more vulnerabilities on your system which the attackers can then exploit further and maybe even gain more control over your server. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with the newest CVE details right into your inbox. And don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed this content.